A white I3T. Wait, not this I3T because now there is something cooler. I've been carrying this I3T for years. I love this light because it is so small and so lightweight and yet decently bright. I just, uh, but now as of December, 2020, amazing year that it's been, there is something cooler and that is its cooler cousin, the I3T Titanium. As I said, I've been carrying this one for a couple of years and I love it because it is just so thin. It's a single AAA battery and 180 lumens and it's so small in your pocket and it's got that double helix neural. I love it and I've been carrying it a ton, but now there is its cooler cousin, the i3T Titanium. So let's have a look at them. You can see how much I carried it because the battery in this one is a little bit dimmer. So, or the battery is a little bit deader. It's a little bit, whatever, whatever the word is. Anyway, let's have a look. The Olight i3T has been around for a long time, for years, and to Olight fans, this light likely needs no introduction. There's not a ton to say about it that hasn't already been said when you're looking at the new model, the titanium version, but let's just talk about it a little bit. I've been carrying this original one for years now, and like I said, I love it because it is such a small design. Single AAA battery, puts out 180 lumens on high, five lumens on low, and it just fits right in the palm of your hand. And because it has this long slender design, it disappears down your pocket and it is so comfortable to carry. I think this is one of my most carried lights as an EDC light when I don't think I'm going to need a ton of light. Now, as of December, 2020, they have updated the design with the titanium version if you are so inclined to get this because titanium is cool, everyone loves it. This one retails for $36.95. It is a little bit heavier than the original version. The original 1.4 ounces, and then 1.8 ounces for the titanium. If you want to go to grams, for those of you on the metric side of things, 38 grams, 50 grams. So you are going to add a little bit of weight for the titanium, but again, you get the coolness factor of the titanium. Looking at the design of this, for those of you who maybe are new to the light, it's a small thin light, as I mentioned. On the back of it, there is a tail cap, which will do either momentary, or you can click it for full on. You can do momentary between the two modes, five lumens and 180 lumens, or you can click it onto five lumens, click it off and click it back on to 180 lumens. The back here comes off when you get it. There is that little protector in here, so make sure that you take that out before the first time you use it. It comes with an included AAA battery, which is nice. A lot of flashlight companies are starting to do that these days. Definitely appreciated. It is IPX8 rated, so it's gonna do great for water and damage protection. You're not gonna have problems there. The pocket clip, it's their bi-directional pocket clip, and it is fixed in position here. You see it's not going to roll around the body on you because it is fixed right there in that indentation. You can take it off if you want, but it's so comfortable to carry in your pocket because of that design. And then if you wanna carry it this way as well, mount it on the brim of your hat, or you just for some reason wanted to carry a tip up, you could do that as well. The body here has their double helix knurling. I like the unique look of it and it is comfortable to hold, but I think it's just kind of a cool look to it. And then down to the head here, I3T logo right there serial number, and then on the other side, Olight. In the head, there is that TIR, Total Internal Reflection Lens, and that gives it kind of a wide hotspot. They say that this will throw 196 feet, 60 meters, but realistically, this is a small AAA light. You're not going to be searching the back 40, the big, long, huge field with this. This is great for everyday carry type stuff when you're not gonna need a ton of light in the house, in the garage, in the car, in the shed when you just need just enough light, but it's still really plenty bright for plenty of situations. It will do five lumens for 16 hours and 180 lumens for 21 minutes. Now, as a brief comparison, comparing the i3T to the i5T, it is actually not that much different in size. The i3T puts out 180 lumens, the i5T puts out 300 lumens, but in practical use, I don't find them to actually be that much different. I feel like the i3T is a bit more of a thrower, 
and the i5T is a bit more floody. They both have that TIR lens. Again, just as a brief comparison, well, I've got them both here. Both great lights, they both carry well because they're both fairly slim. The i5T is a double A, and the i3T is the triple A. Olight is having their Christmas sale December 13th to 17th. Check that out. Up to 40% off on their website. Some great deals there. I'll put some links down below. So that's it on the Olight i3T Titanium. New for December 2020. Check it out. Another cool addition to the Olight family.